Once someone receives that email, we want to build up a link to a new route, which when they click on, it will pass through the hash and then they'll be able to see the message. And then we'll go ahead and delete it as well. So to get started, we'll define a new view and or route rather, and this will be message slash, and we're gonna include a hash placeholder in here. So let's do our normal callback with request, response, and our args. Now args now will contain the hash that gets passed in. So what do we need to do in here? Well, we need to grab this from the database. So we're gonna say this db prepare. Remember we're still using a prepared statement because we're going to be passing data through to a query that a user can provide in the URL, so that's important. And we're just gonna select message, so we want to select that column from messages where the hash equals a hash placeholder. And all we do now is we execute this, so message execute. We pass through that hash value. So the hash value, remember, is within args now. This will be an array of anything passed into the URL. So it will be args hash, like so. And now we can just fetch the record and pass it through to a view. So message is going to be message fetch and we're going to fetch it as an object. So now we need to tackle passing this through to a view. We don't actually have a view yet. So let's build up a new folder here called message. And then inside of this, let's create a new view to show the message. So let's say show.twig. So what we can do within here then is do the same thing that we did with our home page. We can extend the default template. So to do this, we just are gonna copy this home page, paste it in here, and we're just gonna get rid of this content. So what we'll do is we'll come from here and our message can be displayed in here. So this will be where the message will be. So let's just render this view. So we're gonna return this view render. We pass in our response here and message slash show dot twig. And into this, we need to pass the message. So message, message. So now we can actually test that this works. So if we go over to here and say message and then a hash, this can't actually be found, but we'll be dealing with that later. But if we were to have a hash in here that could be found, we could actually show the message. So let's test this out by just uh, setting up a new message. So let's type in an email address. We'll just say hi there. Hit send. Obviously that's going to send over to my mail client, but we'll have it in our database here. This is the hash, so I can copy this and I can go over to message and then paste this hash in there. And now our goal is to show that message. So over on show, in here, we need an if statement. And this is just going to be if message dot message. Here we can say else and then end that if. Now if there is a message, we just want to output the message. Otherwise, the message has self destructed. So now we see that message. If we were to do something that didn't exist, so I'll just add an A onto the end of the URL, we see the message is self-destructed, perfect. So now what we want to do is generate a proper URL in here. So when it sends it through to our mail client, we don't just see this. And that's really easy because remember when we were actually setting up our form, we used the path for method. Now we didn't actually give this route a name, so we can go ahead and do that now. So we're gonna say set name, and we'll just call this message, but again, you can call it whatever you like. So in our email view, we can generate a URL here. Remember, we have this hash variable passed in. So I'm gonna generate an anchor here, and I'm just going to output path for 
message. And here we need to pass in the hash. So we just say hash, hash like that. And we can do the same thing for the href so it's actually clickable. So let's test this out. We'll see there's a slight problem with this. Let's just go back to my empty inbox and let's just go back to our form. Let's enter an email address, enter a message, hit send. And if we go over to my email client, you'll see now that we have this forward slash tutorials, destructy public message, whatever. Now this will update automatically based on whatever URL path you're using. But in our case, we don't have the URL appended and this isn't clickable now. So remember, I've mentioned this before, but when we set up our views, when we added our Twig extension, we passed through the URL to our application just here. That was from our config, so forward slash or HTTP localhost. So all we need to do is use the base URL helper within our message. And that just looks like this, base URL. And that's all we need to do. We can do that before this text as well. So we've got the text in here, which is the base URL, and then the URL for that root. And in the actual href attribute, we have the base URL and the URL for that root. So you can put any text in here that you want, but I just think it's nice that we have the URL. So now let's test this out once more and see what happens. And hit send. There we go. That looks like it's sent. And when I see this, we've got the full URL. I can click on this and I actually see the message. So there we go. We've actually been able to view the message now via the sent email. However, this is not self destructing. So in the next video, we're going to look at how we can delete this immediately as soon as it's been viewed.